Hello, and welcome to the video where I'm gonna show you how to make a personal website completely for free in hopefully around 10 to 15 minutes and you don't need to know anything about coding or websites at all. It's really, really simple. And you can have a personal website that looks something like this by the end of it. Um, this is a kind of uh, simple, very simple version. Uh, my name is Tinta Smith, and this is a kind of made up personal bio that uh, ChatGPT basically wrote for me. Picture of me and my nephew and some kind of mountains or whatever and uh, experience, skills, contact me, and a nice little personal page that you can use for whatever you want. You can have a little button for LinkedIn in the top right if you want to. Um, and just to put whatever it is that you want to put on the internet, like a personal CV, I think to showcase your work. And you can have like a more professional looking one uh, if you're willing to pay a little bit of money. This is actually mine. This is one that I use uh, for some like YouTube consulting stuff that I do, I'm not trying to promote it here, um, but that's just like uh, what this kind of looks like. And a friend of mine called George Blackman has one like looks like this, pretty cool. Nice clean website with some stuff down here. Um, so if you want a personal website just to kind of have your stuff, make it look nice. Um, yeah, not trying to show my my YouTube consulting thing. That is not the point of this video. Um, but yeah, that is what my one looks like. And this is one that I just made. And I'm gonna show you how to make for free in this video. And we'll show you how to do the, the paid version one as well to get it on the side if you want to. So um, the app that you need, or the website that you need is called super.so. Um, and we're going to create websites with Notion. If you don't know, Notion is a, um, is this notion.so. It's like a note taking thing. Um, it looks like this when you get into it and you kind of have like little pages within pages and stuff. It's basically Apple Notes or Microsoft OneNote or just basically note taking software, um, but a little bit more sophisticated. Um, so you just need to make an account on both of them and they can both operate within the browser. So we're just gonna keep it all within Google Chrome. So um, the first thing you're gonna do is sign in or create an account, get started for free is what you should click on. Um, I'm gonna click on sign in because I already have an account. So you make an account on super.so. Um, and so I have two in here already because one is my actual one and then one is that I just made. These are two sites that I've made already. Um, one is my actual one and one is that I just made to test out for this video and we're going to be recreating this page basically. Um, so we have sites, themes, domains, account support. We're going to ignore all that and we're just going to go create site. So we're going to have a new site. We're going to call it Tintin Smith's site. Nice. And then it says Notion share URL. So this is where we need to go to Notion. So you need to get Notion free. It's again, it's free um, and make an account and create a Notion workspace and this is my one. So this is my in-browser Notion workspace. You can see that, uh, let me move this over here. Um, this is the page that I'm using to make the website. Um, and these are some of my other pages, so you can ignore them. And what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call it Tintin Smith's site or something, whatever, just for the time being. Then I'm going to click up here, share. And then it's gonna, I'm gonna go to publish and I'm gonna click publish to web. And it says this page is now live on the web. So this page, this link here is like a web link. Um, so I just pasted it into a new tab um, and it's like a web link, but it's kind of horrible URL, looks a bit messy. Um, and we can do more with, with uh, super.so. So I'm gonna take this web link, copy web link, and I'm gonna put it into Notion share URL, create site. So now I have this page. Okay, nice. Um, so it says this site is currently inactive. I am going to make live. Okay. Um, so this site is now live and it says tintinsmiths.site.super.site. So if I click on that, I've now got the same page that I had before uh, directly from Notion, but it's got a different, slightly different URL, which is a bit nicer. And we can also do more within super.so. So, so um, that is super.so. So now whatever content I make in this page, which is moving my face around all the time, Tintin Smith's site, whatever I make in this page, Christ, um, is going to appear in the thing, in the my website. So I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna ask a Notion AI to create a personal website page for me, make it up, pretend I am a software engineer. Nice. Wonderful. Look how professional that looks. Cool. Okay. 
So um, I'm also going to click add cover up here, change cover. Um, and you can, uh, this is just like a random gallery of photos. You can click upload a photo if you want to. You can link uh, a photo or you can use Unsplash, which just has loads of random photos. Let's just choose, let's type in mountain, something cool and inspirational. Can we see the one that I, that's kind of similar to the one that I had on this page. Maybe it is the same one. Uh, yeah, not sure. Anyway, um, so now if I go here, this page, I'm going to click command, command R. So the page is going to refresh and do that again. There we go. Okay, nice. So this is refreshing. This doesn't look great, the mountains, but whatever. Um, so I am getting, sorry, I just didn't mean to splash that up. So now in my Notion page, I'm going to sort of tidy this up to make it look a bit cooler. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid, uh, yeah, I'll keep that bit. Add some emojis, wave about me, suitcase, or uh, case, case, and my portfolio. I'm just doing uh, shift colon here to get shortcuts to emoji um, work. Let's go website, web, like that, and then phone, like that. Okay, nice. So cool, this looks fun. I'm actually going to change this because I don't like it. Let's go for this the the uh, something 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 let's go unsplash sky that looks kind of cool okay uh, maybe you can reposition it but it then doesn't actually change like live on the site i don't think um so we are here i'm going to click refresh on this again um it's going to take a second to come through Nice. And then I'm going to click on this again. It's going to take me to my site. Um, okay. So now this is my live website, Tintin Smith's site. Um, and I have my sort of weird rock thing for some reason. Um, a bit about me, my services, my portfolio, contact me, Tintin at smith.com. That would be a cool email, but that is not my email. Um, so don't email it. Um, it doesn't matter if you email it because I won't get it. Uh, so that is how to make your website. Tintin uh, tintin-smith-site.super.site. So you can't customize the URL without paying, but this is now live. And this is something that if I went into here, copied it, went file new incognito tab. So no account, just go to a random page. On incognito thing, it's gonna take me to this. This is the website, which I now have live. Um, and I can add in a photo. So not there, um, here. Let me add in a photo. So let's go to Finder. Let's add in this one. This was the one that I used earlier. And I'm just going to drag it using these blocks here. Um, maybe I'll just ask AI to write write more about me. No, oh, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Christ. Um, I'm just going to ask it to write another paragraph just to make it look see what it like okay i haven't got a notion ai let's get rid of that discard whatever so this now uh is going to in here load um like this nicely um so i would have more text here i'm going to open this load this again um, and I've got Tintin Smith site and I can add more text here and do, and I've got all this text on here, make it nice. Um, and you can also have sub pages within this if you want to. So within Notion, I could have, I could have a page here and call this page, um, my, uh, education and then have, you know, education one, education two and a list of stuff. And on my site, that would also turn up as a page, like a sub page. Um, my education, there it is. So let's just click on that again and refresh it from here. So I've got my education. I can now click on this page and it'll take me to my education one, my education two. So you can have sub pages as well. Um, and that's the power of Notion times super. You can then do some different bits down here. Um, so you can change the icon that appears. Um, 
uh, if like like up here, these these icons that appear kind of in the browser tab, you can add a custom domain if you want to pay. Um, you can sort of see the pages, all the, all the different pages within your site. You can manage SEO, design, um, nav bar. So this uh, here, I can change this up here to this is this piece of text here. Change it to like Tintin Smith site. I can make that nice and big if I want to. Um, and there's all sorts of kind of settings around that you can mess around with. But if you want to turn it into um, something like this, where you have a photo, the photo on the left, and the like this, the photo on the left, and the text on the right, then you need to go back to this page and get a template. So you will have to pay for this. Um, I have no affiliate with Super.so, so this is just like, you know, um, this is just if you want to pay to make your website look cooler. Um, sorry, I'm already on the templates page. Um, free, and then you go to this one here, split. So you click on that, take you to a new page. And then it says you can duplicate this template for free here. So you can make it look, the, our page could look like this, which is super cool. Um, and it's the first template made in collaboration with Super and One Page Love. It runs completely on Notion. Nice. Duplicate it here. Cool. Duplicate this template to your Notion workspace here. So if you click on that and then duplicate into my workspace. Nice. So it's now in my own workspace. So I have it in here, but this would, this would be if I wanted to actually then customize this page. So you actually, you would need to do this, but I don't need to do this. Um, so I've already created a super site and I connect them up. All I need to do is take this, paste this link in site settings, um, code HTML. So I'm going to copy this command copy, and I'm going to take it to my site and I'm going to go to the code tab. And then on the head tab here, I'm going to copy that in. Now it has uh, formatted my site so that um, the picture now appears on the left and the text on the right. And then I would mess around with this in here to make it look nicer. So if I went back to uh, this page, let's go to my page here. Um, I could get rid of that if I wanted to. I could change the color to that. And then that's going to upload. And then in here, I can refresh it. Uh, actually, whilst, whilst it's doing that, I'm going to put something in here, uh, like, let me go like this, uh, YouTuber, writer, twat. Nice. That'll be funny. Um, cool. And then I can click save changes up here. Um, it won't actually go live like this because, um, so now the, my actual site now looks like this um, because I haven't upgraded it. But this is what it would look like if I did upgrade it. Now this looks kind of interesting. Um, I look pretty cute here on the left with my nephew and uh, YouTuber writer twat on the right. I could change that to Tinted Smith if I, if I wanted to. Um, and it looks pretty slick. I've got this cool personal website. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.